Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate infrastructure setup in Azure Cloud using Ansible and Azure DevOps pipeline. So let's take a simple use case. Let's say that you are working in a team, they are completely into Azure Cloud. Uh, they are moving away from on-premises into Azure Cloud. Uh, so you have to create a lot of resources uh, in Azure Cloud. So of course, right, you have several options. You can use Terraform, you can use Ansible, you can use Chef or Puppet uh, if you wanted to create resources in Azure Cloud. You can also use Azure RM templates as well if you want to. But let's say that uh, your team is using Ansible as a configuration management tool, okay? So using Ansible, they wanted to create uh, resources in Azure Cloud. So how you can automate that, okay? That's exactly what we are going to talk about in this short video. So if you look at this diagram, we are going to create Ansible playbooks and we are going to commit those Ansible playbooks in Azure repos. And then we are going to create Azure DevOps pipeline. Using this pipeline, we are going to check out the code and then Azure DevOps pipeline will execute the Ansible playbook so that we can create resources in Azure Cloud. So we are going to completely automate uh, infrastructure creation in Azure Cloud. We are going to pick up simple use case. We are going to create something called Azure Resource Group in Azure Cloud. Uh, we are going to just write a simple playbook and then automate that. Maybe in upcoming videos, we will talk about creating additional resources. Awesome. So let's get started, guys. If you look at this diagram, so let's just talk about how Ansible can integrate with Azure Cloud, right? So the way Ansible is going to first authenticate with Azure Cloud is we are going to create something called service principle. So using the service principle, Ansible will be able to authenticate with Azure Cloud. And then once it is authenticated, uh, we need to install something called Azure Aura modules. So using this Azure Aura modules, Ansible will be able to access Azure resources. Okay, so that's the reason why if you look at the pipeline, um, we are going to create these tasks in the pipeline. We are going to create an AML pipeline. So we need to install Ansible on the build agent because when you create Azure DevOps pipeline, you can use either Azure hosted uh, build agent or you can use a custom build agent, but we are going to use uh, Azure build agent. So we need to install Ansible on the build agent. And then we also need to install Ansible uh, or a module on the build agent. And then we are going to authenticate. We are going to create uh, maybe some pipeline variables which would, which would contain a service principle value such as app ID, uh, subscription ID, uh, secret and whatnot. And then we are going to uh, create a resource group in Azure Cloud, right? So we are going to completely automate uh, all this uh, task, okay? Awesome, so if you look at the prerequisite, we need to have Azure account subscription, okay? And I am already connected to my Azure portal. So this is the subscription I'm actually using. So we'll be creating resources over here, okay? And we also need to create a service principle. So using the service principle, Ansible will be able to authenticate uh, with Azure Cloud. Uh, so we are going to use Azure Cloud Shell or you can also use Azure CLI in order to create a service principle, but I'm going to use Azure Cloud Shell in order to create the service principle. Okay, and then once a service principle is created uh, with a proper role and whatnot, we are going to use those information uh, in order to authenticate with Azure Cloud. So we are going to create a pipeline variable with those information. So we'll talk about that in a minute. And then we need to create a Ansible playbook and then we are going to store those Ansible uh, you know, playbooks in uh, Azure repos. And then we are going to create Azure DevOps pipeline. Uh, we are going to create an AML pipeline, which is nothing but pipeline as a code. Uh, and then of course with all these uh, variables, okay? And then we are going to uh, you know add these tasks. So like I mentioned, uh, we are going to use one of the build agents. I'm going to use Ubuntu build agent, which is actually hosted in Azure Cloud. And we need to install Ansible. So this is how we are going to install Ansible. And then we also need to install Azure Aura modules as well. And then of course, whatever the playbook we are creating, uh, which we are committing into Azure repos, uh, we are going to execute those playbooks over here. And then of course, by using this, you know, we will be able to authenticate. And then once the pipeline is executed, we should be able to verify that, uh, whether the resource group has been created or not. It's a very simple uh, use case. Awesome guys, so let's get started now. Uh, let me start with uh, creating a service principle. Uh, it's very straightforward. Like I said, you can use Azure Cloud Shell or 
if you are already connected to your vm you can also use your azure cli as well to create a service principle or you can also use uh, azure portal as well to create a service principle uh, so let me copy that code so let me uh, copy this so i need to give a service principle name so i want to give ansible uh, sp means service principle okay i'm gonna say 23 okay and then we need to give a role for the uh, print service principle so let me assign that role and then we also need to add our subscription right so and then subscription id so i think i should be able to pick that up from here so that's my subscription id so that's it right okay so this should take care of creating a service principle with this contributor role okay perfect let me execute that uh okay i have some issue there let's see i think i'm missing something oh we need to add double hyphen there yeah i have only single hyphen sorry about that awesome guys so the service principle got created and uh, this also has the app id and then this is the password and this is a tenant id so we will be using these values shortly so let me go back to the instructions so yeah so we got created so we took care of this and then the next step would be we need to go ahead and then create an ansible playbook so what i'm going to do is um i'm actually going to go to my azure devops uh, dashboard so this is my azure devops project and let me go to repos i have already created a repository here so i'm going to go ahead and then create ansible playbook so we took care of creating the service principle um, the next step would be to go ahead and then create ansible playbook so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into my azure devops uh, dashboard so this is my azure devops project i'm going to go into repos so this is where we are going to create a ansible playbook basically uh, since this is just a demo right so what we are going to do we are going to create a simple playbook in order to create a resource group in azure cloud so i have already uh, written a small playbook let me just copy this and let me go to repo uh, let's just create a new file here new file so let me call this as create resource group dot aml create and then let me paste that code here uh, let me fix this sorry about that so this is the resource group name and then this is the location okay and then connection local means yes it is going to it is going to be executed on the build agent so that's what that means or whichever the machine is running right so it's going to use the local connection and click on commit and then let me say uh, created a playbook for creating resource group in azure let me commit it there you go so we took care of creating a resource group and then this is a resource group name and this is a location perfect so let me go back to the instructions so we took care of creating a service principle we took care of creating ansible playbook and then the next step would be to go ahead and then create a azure aml build pipeline so let me go back to my azure devops uh, project dashboard here and then let me click on pipeline so you can create a new pipeline click on new pipeline and like i said we are going to use pipeline as a code which is aml file so click on azure repos git and then click on the repository and what i'm going to do is i want to start with a minimal pipeline code so let me click on starter pipeline so there you go so we were able to create the basic pipeline code here uh, let me do some cleanup here okay so we need to start um, you know adding task over here so like i said uh, we we are going to have a task 
for you know performing these three activities right so we need to first install ansible on the build agent and then we need to install orem uh, ansible orem module and then we need to execute our playbook okay so it's very uh, simple so you can see the pipeline code here right uh, so we want to of course if, if you want you can also copy and paste the entire pipeline code but i want to go step by step and i want to copy this particular uh, command in order to install uh, ansible on the build agent and then as you can see here ubuntu is the build agent right and of course we can also see that over here there you go okay so let me uh, add my script over here and then here i want to say that uh, install ansible on build agent okay and then let's also go ahead and then add our next next task as well so let me just copy script here okay so the next step would be to go ahead and then install ansible or a module so you just have to copy that put that over here okay and then let me add a display name here just to identify okay we're gonna say install ansible orem module okay on the agent okay perfect so so far so good and let me go back to the pipeline code and then the next step would be to go ahead and then I execute the playbook but before that why don't I save the why don't I save the pipeline code and then try to run it okay so save save and run so let's see as you can see here it already installed ansible on the build agent and uh, it also installed ansible or a module as well on the build agent so so far so good if you go back and we can see here it executed all these tasks right so so far so good okay so the next step would be to go ahead and then execute our ansible playbook so what i'm going to do is So let me go back here and then the way we are going to execute our playbook, I think you all know that, right? You just have to say Ansible playbook and then provide the playbook name. And we can see our playbook name here. So this is the playbook name. Copy that. So I want to say executing the playbook on the agent to create resource group in Azure Cloud. Perfect. So this should take care of uh, executing the playbook on the agent. Okay, let me make sure everything is good. Everything is good so far. And the last but not the least, we also need to go ahead and then create uh, pipeline variables. Um, so let's do that right now. Uh, so the way you're going to do that is go to variables, click on new variable. So we need to create all these variables, right? We need to create a variable called Azure subscription ID. In fact, we should have started uh, with this first. Uh, let me copy the Azure subscription ID. Uh, I can get that from here. Okay. So yeah, I think I would highly recommend to use this. Click on OK. And then let me create, uh, let me save. Okay, let me create one more. I hope that got saved. Yeah, it got saved. And then the second variable is going to be Azure client ID. That is actually nothing but app ID. Okay. So put that over here, secret, say okay. 
and then let me add the next variable Azure secret that is actually nothing but the password obviously we are going to select this say ok and the last variable which is nothing but the tenant ID so and then we are going to store these say ok click on save perfect and then we need to use those variables over here make sure the syntax everything is good okay perfect so that's it right so I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to say added pipeline variables click on save so as soon as I save I'm pretty sure the pipeline is going to run and we can verify that over here there you go so let's see so as you can see here wow it also executed the playbook as well let's see wow so look at here so this was able to execute the playbook for creating the resource group so if i log in into azure cloud uh, so this is the uh, resource group it should have created right so let me go into azure cloud i'll go to home uh, click on resource groups and then let me close this wow look at here guys right so that's the resource group it has just created now and you can also see here few seconds ago the resource group got created so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you would be able to automate infrastructure setup on azure cloud using ansible and azure devops pipeline thank you for watching this video folks